Welcome back in, everybody. Still to come is your Week 2 college football preview. But first, we're going to hand out some helmet stickers. This is my favorite part of the show. Yeah. But, Patrick, I went first last week, so I give you the All right, give so the my here. first hel my second helmet sticker, <laughs> excuse me, is going to go to Kemper County tonight. Very good home opener win, beating Noxipater 46-8. to So, good job for the Wildcats. They pick up that first home opener win very good job. They get my helmet sticker for this week. Carmen, who is your helmet sticker for the week? I am taking Southeast Lauderdale. The Tigers, mm -hmm. big win tonight for them. On the road, first win for new head coach, Luker. I'm going to slap that one right there. there. Congratulations to the Tigers on their win. There you go. All right, so Saturday's games on WTOK. We'll start with the 11 a.m. game. Interesting one for an SEC team, Arkansas, visiting Mike Gundy and the 16th-ranked Oklahoma State Cowboys at 2.30 right here on WTOK. South Carolina, Shane Beamer and the Gamecocks visiting Mark Stoops and the uh, Kentucky Wildcats. Then in prime time, number 14, Tennessee, taking on NC State in Charlotte. And then on my TOK, 6 p.m., Tuskegee visiting Grambling State. Carmen, pick a game out of that. Which one do you like? To watch or for for what purposes? Just, just whatever. I Tennessee. I want to see Tennessee's quarterback play more. The kid yeah. looks good. Yeah, Yamaliava or whatever he his looks name is. Good. Yeah, he does Nico, look good. So he looks I'm really good. I'm going with that 11 a.m. game. I want to see Bobby yeah. Petrino versus that experienced defense yeah. in Stillwater. I want to see what that looks like. Obviously, the Cowboys have one of the best players in all of college football in Ollie Gordon. Let's check out the SEC action for the weekend. State and Bama, both with night games, but in the afternoon, you can catch Auburn hosting Cal at 2.30 on ESPN2. Cal's an ACC team, people. People forget that. Yes. Number six, Ole Miss. That's where you're going to be tomorrow, hosting be. Middle Tennessee at 3:15 on the SEC Network at 6 p.m. That's where I'll be. Number four, Alabama, hosting South Florida on ESPN. The Saban Field ceremony taking place at halftime. They're also supposed to do something a little bit before the game. Right after that game on ESPN, Mississippi State has the late one, a little Big 12 SEC after dark as the Bulldogs travel to Arizona State in a top 10 matchup to look forward to this weekend on Fox. Texas taking on Michigan for the big noon game tomorrow. Who do you like in that one? I like Texas to win it, but I don't like Texas with a spread. Okay, I think I'm a touch, I think a I touchdown's think, too much, but I, I think Texas is going to edge it so out. I think so too. I think Michigan's going to. I think Michigan's just going to run, 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 yes. run the ball. Yes. I think Michigan's defense is very, very good. I do like the experience of Quinn Ewers. I think. Mm -hmm. I think that gives uh, gives them the edge. Southern Miss, meanwhile, hosting Southeastern Louisiana in Hattiesburg. Kickoff for that one is at 6 p.m. West Alabama hosting Tusculum over in Livingston at. 6 p.m. and then in SWAC action, Jackson State hosting Lane at 6 p.m. and on at 6:30 on ESPNU, Alcorn State traveling to Nashville to take on Vandy. We got tons of college football it's this back. weekend. We're I'm so, so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. And then you've got you've got the big game on Fox. You've yes. got you've got so much. So uh, who do you like in the Bama Southern Florida game? I we think Bama's going to win. Bama, this Bama but South Florida spread. gave them a spread at what? 30 something, something like that. I think they cover because last season mm -hmm. South Florida gave them a run for their money. They're yeah. not letting that happen, People, especially at a yeah. Nick Saban field dedication. You can't let that happen. I agree. And that's the game where Milrow was famously benched. Yes. Yes. And, and I think Saban and Tommy Reese proved a point with yes. everybody. So it's, I think they're coming out for blood, yeah. too. I like, I like Bama to cover the spread. You're going to have us covered on all yes. things Ole Miss tomorrow, so I be sure to excited. tune in for that. I'll be in Tuscaloosa, but thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. That's going to do it for us on another edition of Football Friday. We will see you next weekend.